What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cars with Abe. Today we are going to be diving into a major tune-up on the car. Now I know you guys want to see this puppy drive and I do too, believe me. But right now we are waiting on some brakes. I am going to upgrade the brake system on it. There's going to be disc brakes all the way around. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the whole disc brake conversion. Honestly guys, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with the disc brake conversions I've never done that before but in the meantime for right now we got it running let's go ahead and give it a major tune-up so I went ahead and I bought a distributor cap rotor condenser points ignition wire spark plugs the whole nine yard right now we are still putting a hold on the carburetor that my dad has actually I don't know if we're gonna replace it or not we might end up going with a bigger carburetor and stuff later on so that's why we're kind of holding off on it right now it does seem to be working after we replace that fuel pump but anyways needless to say let's get to it so we're gonna go ahead and start with the spark plugs <laughs> So as I pull all this stuff off, I am going to try my hardest to not make funny faces. So don't make fun of me. Ooh, she's so nasty. One down, seven more to go. Boom. Just so you have a comparison right there. Look at the points. That's incredible. And now we have to properly gap the new spark plugs. I'm doing it one at a time, really. A lot of people have different methods, but that's my method. So let's get right into it and let's put some new spark plugs in there. Back in the hole we do. On with the ignition wire. Nothing like checking your fire order. That one, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but that one in the very back was terrible. It was absolutely horrid. I could not get it whatsoever, but we finally got both sides, spark plugs and ignition wires. We're smooth sailing now. Distributor cap, rotor, condenser, all that good stuff. Also, I don't know, just side note, if you guys can see that, but once that dirt and grime is off, it actually looks like some really nice black valve covers are underneath all this dirt and grime so that's a plus aside from getting the brakes taken care of and getting it on the road and all that good stuff i do want to take care of those valve cover gaskets before we go out on a drive because i mean obviously you can tell that it's kind of leaking there and i don't want it leaking on the new spark plugs ignition wires and exhaust manifold creating a smoke and so on and so forth i'm sure it will be smoking plenty <laughs> but anyways yes we are going to get this off now seems like it's already running smoother with just the uh, ignition wires and spark plugs off the distributor cap comes surprisingly i don't think that they're all that bad but can never be too safe almost forgot just like any other car we do have electricity now so we're gonna disconnect the cable, negative cable, before working on the condenser and points. So I'm being level-headed with you guys. Just so you know, this is actually my first time taking off the points, condenser, uh, the rotor and all that stuff because well quite frankly I'm a little bit used to working on newer cars versus older cars but quite honestly they are so incredibly simple like I am so happy to work on these cars and not to mention like look how many look at the room in here like I could sit as if I'm sitting on a couch on the fender and work on this thing. Anyway, so I believe the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and take these little spade connectors off. There's the old condenser and then there's the point system. And then of course we have some feeler gauges so that way we can make sure that it is gapped perfectly for the points. old one out quite honestly these points are like not that bad once again anyways out with the old and with the new so now we just took off the condenser for y'all to get a better look at the condenser cheap parts check major concentration all right i lied those points are pretty bad these are really clean I'm glad we're doing this it's so hot and humid but we now have the distributor cap out 
And, well, what's next? We gotta go ahead and adjust the points. All right, so pretty much everything's snug in there. You got your points and condenser there. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hand crank so that way we can get this right i don't know if you guys can see that but right in line with that shaft lobe right there and um get it lined up perfectly so that way we can properly adjust those points this is the proper way to make sure that the points are gapped correctly feeler gauge right there it's a 15 thousandths every car is different okay distributor cap everything sealed tight and then we're going back together with the battery cable and then we'll give her a crank see how she runs now Didn't even prep her. It's running pretty good. She uh, sounds healthy now. A lot more healthy. I think these made a huge difference. Well guys, that sums it up. I'm so sorry that today's video didn't have more for you, but we did end up replacing and giving it a major tune up. So that is perfect. It's running beautiful. It's purring like never before. I will say I'm waiting on some brakes. Now you see this is already taken off. Sorry, there's no light, but hopefully you guys can see this is already taken off and this will be on the next video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, smash that like button and follow along with this new build that we're doing on a budget. See ya.